The purpose of this tutorial is to show how translations work with a parabola. So I've graphed y equals x squared. Actually, I've got two different graphs here in my Desmos graph, but they look the same because right now uh, the two parameters, uh, h and k, are both zero. And as soon as I start changing these, you'll see the original and then what the new graph looks like. So I'm going to take uh, h and make it 1. There we go. So notice they have exactly the same shape, and if you're looking at the graph as we went from 0 to 1, notice what happened is it starts sliding to the right. Okay, so there's the 1 again. There we go. So if I make h1, then it's gone 1 to the right. If I made h, let's say, 4, there's 4 right there, it's gone 4 to the right. So this would actually be the graph of y equals x minus 4 squared plus k. So if I make h4, it's gone 4 to the right. Now let's go to the left. So let's make h a negative value. Uh, let's go to negative 2. Okay. So that would be negative 2. So now h would be a negative 2 here. So what would be in the brackets would be x it would be x minus negative 2. We wouldn't write it as x minus negative 2 because a double negative, that would we write it as x. It's simpler to write it as x plus 2. So it would be uh, x, y equals x plus 2 squared plus k. So, but you have to remember that it's x minus the h value. And so that's why even though h is negative 2 here, okay, it's gone left 2. Uh, in the brackets, this would actually be written as x plus 2. And it's difficult to uh, to think about that um, without seeing it. So um, this is uh, what I would I'm meaning here. So h is negative two. So it's actually it's actually x minus negative two squared plus the k value. So we would write this as x plus 2 squared plus whatever the k value is. We're not worrying about the k value for a moment. So notice even though it's written as x plus 2, it's gone 2 units to the left. And that's because it's x minus the h value. And of course, if we make that h value even lower, you know, there's, there's 5 units to the left. So that would be x plus 5 in there, but it's uh, it's gone 5 to the left because h, the value of h is negative 5. So if h is a positive value, it goes to the right. If h is a negative value, it goes to the left. Now let's go back to 0. There we go. Okay, so same problem. So the k value, that's the number on the end here. So what happens to the, the graph? So I'm going to make k2. So notice that the further I, the bigger k value I make it, the higher the graph. So there is a k value of 6. And if I make k negative, it shifts the graph down. It actually has the same shape and size. Um, it, you ha you, you're seeing a lot more of the blue graph here. Okay? But they actually have, all I'm doing is shifting it up and down. They do have exactly the same shape. The one isn't stretched compared to the other. So when that k value is positive, it goes up. When the k value is negative, it goes down. Okay, so that's the all the different translations. So, for example, if I made h to be let's say three, there's three, and let's say I make k to be negative two. There we go. I'll bring my. So this would actually be the graph of. Okay, so h is 3, k is negative 2. Notice that the vertex over here is at 3, negative 2. So it's this number, 3, comma, negative 2. So those numbers, h and k, allow you to find what the vertex is. So let's do one more there. So let's make h, oh, let's say negative 4. And let's make k, I'll make it 1. There we go. Okay. So let's go back here again. Maybe we'll scroll down and give some more room. So, and uh, let's use the color black here. So, uh, 
Uh, now, uh, h is negative 4, so this would be x minus negative 4. So this is going to be x plus 4 in here. And k is 1, so plus 1 on the end. And the vertex, if we look at the vertex, it's left 4 and up 1. So it would be at negative 4, comma, 1. Again, that's the y-coordinate. And so remember, it's x minus h. So the opposite of this number is going to be the x-coordinate. So you can use those h and k values to figure out where the vertex is of the parabola. They're one of the most useful uh, things about this, this format of a parabola's equation. And that's the end of the tutorial.